We are joined in the loft at Baylor Coffee and Vinyl with White Lilac. Hello to you. Hello. Um, so, new uh, EP just come out and welcome wishes. Got an absolutely amazing review by Dave Franklin. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, it's kind of, um, I don't know if it's putting you on a pedestal by saying that you're the best band in or that has come from Swindon or so. How does that make you feel? <laughs> like, uh, like, it's really nice, <laughs> but we're not exactly like the most self-assured people so it was like oh, hey thanks Dave like we have got loads of confidence fate <laughs> yeah but like I mean like that's lovely you can't ask for much yeah like, no, no, to fine. Dave, Dave, is a, Dave is a great person Dave I was just checking that Nick had turned up <laughs> come on Dave <laughs> Dave heard his own name look look he came snooping up <laughs> <laughs> Dave Franklin yeah, yeah. that way <laughs> So for people that haven't heard your stuff before, how would you describe your sound, particularly the new EP, how has your sound evolved from the earlier days? We always find it quite hard, don't we, <laughs> to describe it. It's like a, the thing, I think when you, when you kind of come to a point where you've got to describe it, it's uh, kind of, I think a lot of people like to have kind of like a bit, a bit of a kind of like, you, you know, like a, a, a big kind of like pad of music that they can kind of compare you to. And I think that a lot of the bands that we get compared to, I mean, none of us even listen to, sort of thing. And like, so it's quite, it's quite, it's quite <laughs> half Kanye West, half the Smiths. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it's quite, it's quite difficult. I mean, because like, we Kanye all, Kanye West one, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all have pretty different musical tastes, and I think that when it comes together, it kind of is just a, it's pretty, it's pretty ambient, <laughs> and it's kind of like, I guess, I guess you'd have to categorize it as kind of a, a, a form of independent rock music, really. That's like where it would probably sit. Because on the EP, oh, sorry. Yeah. I was going to say the EP, like, it's like a roller coaster around a bunch of different things, really. Like, yeah. I would say that you could put, like, an all over encompassing thing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, and I mean, like in particular, like <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, yeah, exactly. I mean, like it'd be lovely to just get a word and just feel like that's what we are. Mm. And we've thought about it. We've had the conversation. And in particular with the EP, I think that uh, we now feel like that's kind of a, a sound that will probably advance on really quickly and we already are I mean like you know we're kind of working out material already you know? yeah like with the EP because we all kind of wrote tracks on it although we all have like a style of writing that does blend well together I think you could tell and because it was kind of the first thing that we'd done it was kind of an experiment in a way we didn't know what we were really going yeah. for and um yeah, it just kind of brought us on this together I think that, that's the thing I like about it the most actually yeah. is that it's kind of like it's like it's just a collage hmm you know, it's not like we were like, we're going to achieve this and we got it, you know. It's quite sort of all over the place. When, yeah, when you listen to the EP start to finish, there are a few ups and downs. Was that just kind of, it just organically happened? Or was that the kind of the intention to give, almost to appeal to a bigger audience as possible, just so people that are fans of different kind of genres, everyone can take something away from it? Yeah. It was a happy byproduct, really. Yeah, it was like a happy accident. Just one of them things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly. I think it's we, we kind of did we become a bit aware of what we were doing at some point. Yeah, I think we like did. We structured the EP itself like the songs that we had. We tried yeah. to make it as much of us. Yeah, but we we, we, yeah. we did actually think about it in terms of how we were going to lay out the songs. It's just then when it actually came to recording the songs, it was we like, kind oh. of experimented <laughs> quite a bit. So yeah, I don't yeah, know. Maybe it's, maybe it's not quite as fluid as we. So for example, <laughs> like the, with like swing under. Mm -hmm. I mean, is it for a, a completely you know out of the hat example? I mean, we had no idea how that was going to sound because when we came to, when we came to work, because we 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 you know we we would happily be at a point where we could all come together and practice and practice and practice and say okay we know exactly what our music's going to sound like let's put us in a studio with someone and record them record all the songs. But a year ago when we started recording it, we weren't at that point. We were like at a point where it was like, okay, you can do that, and you can do that, and you can do that, and then we sort of just recorded it, and it was like, that's what it sounds like, you know? It was good, you know. It was, it was and a... we did it all ourselves. So we recorded ourselves in a in a shed in Tom's garden. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Tom's yeah, no, that's garden. what um, Dave also alludes to in the in the article, talking about how acts in the past have tried to make an average kind of sound sound a lot better through high production techniques mm. and kind of tricks of the trade and that kind of thing yeah. was it important that you didn't go down that route so the music speaks for itself more um i think we kind of made the decision because we didn't really have any money yeah <laughs> still but, makes sense. Money. but um <laughs> i'm glad that that happened to me because it was a really nice way of doing it for us because we kind of had total control over it and because we were kind of not seeing how it went as we went along but in a way it was a little bit we didn't like kurt so we didn't know exactly how it was going to turn out so 
it was nice to have the complete control over it and not be worrying about, oh, we yeah. need to get it done this amount of time or we need to make it sound like this. We just sort of yeah. let it happen. And it, so it actually comes out as the sound that you want it to as opposed yeah. to producer Yeah, well, exactly, yeah. You, yeah. Kind of, you, don't, you don't go in and say, you, you know, you, you, don't, you don't go into somewhere with your compressor set at a certain thing and you're not allowed to touch it or anything. You kind of just, you find yourself recording something and then learning something the next day about recording, and then learning something the next day, and you listen back to your take you did two days ago, and you're kind of like, oh, I have to do that again. You know, because you learn, we were just learning how to record. I mean, like, we've never been avid, like, studio goers or anything as musicians, really. We're not like, we don't sit behind, you know, control panels and stuff. I mean, we all learn what we were doing as we were going. And I mean, like, we're, we're like, super into it now, but only yeah. because of the EP. So when we yeah. started on Change of Face, that's like us not knowing what we're doing at all. And when kind of when we ended with, we, kind of, we ended basically with I'm All Colours. And that's when we knew what we were doing a bit more. So that kind of happened. So you already said the sounds were most evolving already, mm. even with the release of a brand new EP. Where's it kind of going at the moment? Um, well, because we recorded the EP last summer, so it has been quite a while since yeah. we recorded that. And I think a lot of the songs in writing, I don't know, they're a bit more shoegazy, well, kind of. But, is yeah. that where you Gently, want it to go, or they just kind of? Like yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's, I mean, it's kind of like, uh, like I, I, I think it's 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 kind of like we're at a point now where we're making music that has like a sound, and it's it's us a bit more. I mean, like me and Emma the other day, we we like came away from practice, and like, and like Emma said, oh, I think I feel like we're getting a sound now, and I was like, yeah, me too. Yeah. I was like, that's that's happening. No, it's and what you want from bands. Yeah, like, it is. Yeah, like sound. And it sounds like, and, and uh, I went, we went for like a walk the other day and we were going through the fields because there's loads of fields around my house and uh, me and Faye were like walking the dog and we were walking around and I, and I, and I like, I, I felt like I was thinking about our music a lot and I was thinking about the music that we've been making in the last couple of months and it was like, this sounds like here, you know, it like sounds like here and it felt really good because it was like, the next place we're going is going to be, like it, it just gets more honest, you know, and that's kind of what you want, isn't it? You don't want to make music that's kind of Im imitating anything, you just want complete honesty. And I think because, um I think we needed to do this EP and have that kind of exploratory period to, to get to this point, so it's been like a, a good thing to happen as well. Of course, as long as you don't do like a complete 180, like maybe Panic at the Disco style, yeah. really cool. <laughs> then we're a bit psyched, and we're sat there like, what the fuck are you yeah. doing? Yeah. This is not it's good! Not yeah. <laughs> Like, we were talking about this the other day, so many bands, like that kind of indie wave of 2003-04 with kind of Keen, The Killers, uh, Modest Mouse, all those second albums were just awful. Mm. <laughs> so only kind of the Arctic Monk say, yeah, please keep doing what you're doing, it's important. And that's exactly it, I mean, like, when you listen to some of the sounds on there, there's some things I listen to now, and it's like, oh, that was good, I was like, how do we, you know, let, and, and, and I get really confident You can impress it. yourself sometimes. Um... <laughs> I do personally. <laughs> no, but I, I mean, I like to listen back to it and I'll be, I'll be like, oh God, it's not so good, it's not so good, it's not so good. And then, I'll, and then I'll put it on, I'll listen to it, I'll be like, yeah, okay, I'm not happy with it. And then, and then as long as we're constantly kind of like moving with it instead of away from it, I mean, like, I just don't, I don't like it when you kind of put on, a sec like you said, a second album and it's yeah. like, what? But that's not even the same person. Yeah, you, know? you fall in love with a band for a reason or a musician for a reason. So if they suddenly are just like, actually, I'm going to do this and there's no hints of the first, where they can yeah. from, it's kind of like, like I really liked it yeah. because obviously everyone's going to progress mm. and that's a natural part of just everything I mean, it's, it's kind of understandable well, obviously you get different influences but I think mm. if, if you do have a massive success the talks of kind of yeah the killers um, yeah. that kind of uh, neck of the woods or so kind of understandable but I think at the same time you're almost slapping your audience in the face the people yeah. that came yeah. to yeah. all of your gigs that bought your records yeah. put their posters up on the walls and everything else they I don't know. I don't know if hardcore fans would accept if you guys just went straight up gangster rap or yeah. not. Oh, yeah. I mean, they yeah. might. Do. I think I mean, maybe in a couple of years. <laughs> the slow evo evolution. <laughs> One thing that we used to ask bands all the time: when you're up on stage, do you ever try and do you ever look at people's reactions to certain songs, or do you just kind of do what you do? I just try and look. Look away. It's only because we started recording the podcast live up here with an audience and the last kind of seven years I've just spent my time in a studio mm. with no one to look at me. I assume that people are laughing at home when they listen to the jokes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Then you do it in front of people, it's like, why aren't they laughing? That, that's a really funny line. Like, <laughs> that took me like two days to write that line. I, I don't get it. There. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, I've always, it's, it's quite a ballsy thing to do. Obviously, you guys are quite young to stand up on stage in front of... I mean, when I, uh, I saw you at the Vic last year, it was quite a busy gig. Yeah. Do you ever get intimidated by crowds or the size of venues or 
you ever get the the kind of the pre gig nerves no, at all? Or? I'm always sat down. So. <laughs> nice yeah. and easy. Yeah. I I, um, I get quite nervous, but I think I just don't. I just look at the floor until about a few songs in, and then I start looking out and seeing it. Slowly look yeah. up, song <laughs> after song, and we're done. Yeah. <laughs> I get. I I think I, I get. I get pretty nervous um, because. I just want everyone to get the right impression, and mm. then if I don't, and then if I look out into the crowd, maybe like once or twice, and when I do, it's usually quite awkward eye contact. Yeah, <laughs> and it is hard sometimes. Cause I know, I think like we're all quite similar. That, like, but I know personally, every song I've ever written has been about something really personal, and it's always been about something that's happened to me. Or, and sometimes when you've written a new song and you're, and even like singing it to you guys, like I get really nervous. Like, was that there? Understandable. And you're like, it's like group therapy, isn't it? Yeah, you're, you know, you're letting things out about yourself mm. and people might not necessarily pick up on it but they might do and, and you know that it's personal so in a way that's kind of weird at sometimes you're hit like singing about your life and you don't really know anyone in the audience you're like this is me okay maybe like a sing along powerpoint yeah. kind of thing yeah. going yeah. on <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just have a picture for every lyric. Yeah. <laughs> Gives me crying. Gives me happy. Gives me crying again. Yeah. Well, we move into the gangster rap thing. That won't be so easy. Yeah, I'm so I'm waiting for that to happen. That'd be I'll amazing. Get practicing. Well, Lilac, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Much appreciated. <laughs>